A woman is dealing with the loss of her sister. What are we gonna run into? I'm excited to find out. She is dead. She is and dead. Not bad. Looks pretty cool so far. I need to get dressed. All right. Game is pretty smooth. Oh, what kind of pills are those? Can we look at them? My therapist has not called yet. Oh, I use this. Prescription drugs. I'd rather smoke. All right. So to click on things, the painting helps calm me down. It does. It's a nice painting. I don't blame her. Can we turn our TV on? Nope. No run button. We're just walking around. No need for these yet. All right. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Nothing to turn on. All right. I guess this is our clothes. Let's throw our clothes on. Throw. Now we wait for the call. Now can we watch TV while we wait? Ugh. Can we leave while we wait? Can we just take our cell phone and bounce? My therapist has not called yet. Okay. Let's just bounce. Can we just leave? I'm locked in. Finally. Calling. Yes, Dr. Calkins. I'm on my way. All right, cool. We can get out of here. Let's go. Let's go see the doctor. I need this. What's in here? Is this my bathroom? Oh no, this is my escape room. Or exit. So then what's the other door? I don't understand. Dr. Cockins, this is room 16. Oh, so apparently I'm in. Is that person safe? Most games you have to worry about people. Here's the finding out. All right, let's go to room 16, 14, 4, 15, 5, 6, 16. Let's just ignore the dude out there. Thanks a lot for visiting me in the hotel. I understand this might be rather unusual practice, but I really need to talk. What the heck? This is weird and kind of freaky. Like, what is that? I don't know. This is getting really weird. I love it. I'm glad you decided to do this again. Considering your position and tragic circumstances, I was more than willing to help. Can you tell me once again, why did you decide to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money for this hotel? After what happened to my sister, I was unable to stay there. Every night, I had the same nightmare about her and it was torturing me. I was lucky enough to save some money from my employer. At least for now, I do not have any worries about paying rent and I can enjoy hotel pizza. Okay, this is not healthy. You have to face the issue right up front. You cannot live in a hotel forever. You talk about the nightmares. Can you describe them to me? They are very real at times, but usually when I wake up, the nightmare doesn't end. I have this deep feeling more like a voice is telling me to do something. What does that voice tell you to do exactly, Kate? Is it very important to say out loud to ensure that it is not real? The voices tell me to... To... Kill someone. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Who kill? Who? Does the voice specifically say a person? A name? Is this out connected to your sister's suicide? Hey, you need to focus on this. I don't know. It just tells me to kill. I see my sister and she's so real, but there's something off about her. Something sinister in her voice. Hey, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see your sister in this room right now? Kate! Kate! Yes, 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 I did. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. My head hurts. The, this medication, it's not helping at all. And I don't know what to do. I'm f***ing...
don't know what to get out of my head. Hey, I need you to stay alert at all times. I will prescribe something for the headache. We will meet again in three days, all right? If there is an emergency, please call me. All right, all right. I'll try to do this medication technique you told me about. Thanks for talking. It means a lot to me more than you can imagine. I'm looking forward to talking to you again in our next visit. What is that thing over there? Uh-oh. That creepo disappeared. Nope. There he is. Waiting to creep. I can't even remember what room we were in. This sucks. Oh, it's a little lady. We can talk to the little lady. Hi, little lady. How you doing? It's a nice little apartment, isn't it? What room were we in? I think three? Does he guess right? What is that on the table? Yep, this is my room. Dear Mr. Anderson. Sorry, I watched too much Matrix. Dear Miss Anderson, we hope this letter finds you well, and I want to extend our appreciations for choosing Velvet Vista Hotel for your recent stay. Unfortunately, it has come to our attention that there are some issues that require immediate attention. We have received multiple complaints from other guests and other staff regarding loud banging and unpleasant odors originating from your room. To ensure the comfort and tranquility of all our guests, we kindly request that you please adhere to the hotel's noise policy and be mindful of your noise level. If there is a specific issue or concern that, re <clears throat> issue or concern that requires our attention, please do not hesitate to contact our front desk. We appreciate you understanding and cooperating with this matter. We look forward to the remainder of your stay at our hotel. Sincerely, management. Whatever. I should just put these clothes in the closet. Somehow I'm tired. I should lay down. Aren't these more clothes? I don't need to use these right now. Can we go in the bathroom? It's locked. I got to know what's in the bathroom. But let's go to sleep because we're tired. It was too much talking to the lady. Who's knocking? Oh shit, someone is knocking. Who's at my door? Hello? Who's knocking? Excuse me. Hello? What the f? I should close that. What? Oh. How did I know that's what it was? <laughs> Fuck the lights, I should get my phone. Use F F F F F F What the heck? It's locked. What is going on? Yo, we just went from super spooky to beyond spooky. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. Like, we were just in our boat, too. Just chilling, relaxing, shooting some b-ball outside the school. When a couple of ghosts who were up to no good tried to eat my face. Why the f*** did you even come here? This hospital is rotten. I wish my sister was here. But as usual, she has too many f***ing problems to deal with. Unlike me, drug addicted, who's trying to break free from all of this. Yeah. The heck? Can you say PT like? It's locked. Now we walk very slow until something jumps out and makes me pee pee in my pants. Nope. How about to this way? Yes. No? Yes? No? This one doesn't go chick chick or chick chick. Every day is the same loop. I go to this hospital, get some medication, try to better myself. Yeah, but what's the point? My sister doesn't give a shit anyway. I might die tomorrow and she won't even remember. What? Alright, so let's get ourselves out of here. Yuppers. We repeat the spooky process. I'm looking for a note that's going to make us pee ourselves. 
Here is files. They weren't there before. I think we're remembering slowly. What's it behind the door? Vinyls. Yeah! It's locked. All right. Do here? No. What are we missing? You all see a piece of paper? Aha, I do, right here. It's on the ground. My medical history is pretty short. Nothing of value in broken things, but maybe if my sister was interested, maybe if she could pick up the phone at least once and be curious, all I can do is hope for the best. Bullshit phrase. No? What are we going to do now? Why am I getting scared? It's just a game, man. Are right, we going through this door now? No? What? What am I missing? Oh. Now we can go through this. We couldn't before. Nothing here. I should search the rest. Yo, I was just trying that. Nothing here, I should next. Yeah, nothing when I should search the rest. Shacker. Who called that seven miles away? What is this? Demography details. This blank year old patient presents for an alcohol and cannabis withdrawals. History was obtained from the patient. Chief complaint I want rehab, but I've been using. General history, circumstances of admission. Patient is single blank year old AA woman with other blank dependents who was admitted in with symptoms of depression, including KAH of voices. Right? Yeah, that was right. Including KAH of voices telling her to hurt herself. She has done outpatient programming and wants to change her life this time. Referral papers reviewed. Discharge summary. Discharge instructions. Physical exam reviewed. All right. Let's get our buttholes out of here. So we're in a hospital and we're going crazy because our sister's alive and ignored us or died and we don't realize she's dead. I was just enjoying the looking around. What do I do? Sister? Can I go through this door? Sister? Sister? Crap, crap, crap. What's the matter? Why are you crying? Where'd you go? Why'd my light turn green? That's weird. Why do I have freaking hairs going so strong? One of these days... It sounds like there's something behind us. Do you hear that? Shit! The battery's dead. Now what? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Really? Really? It is? No. I need my flashlight. Come back, flashlight. Do you feel it, Ray? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's right there. Do you feel it now? Do you feel guilty? You selfish bitch. You abandoned me when I needed you. You made a promise. You said you were always going to be with me. Go back. Go back. End this now. Oh my god. Did you see her? Just don't even look. Pretend she's not there. Pretend she's not there. That worked. I should check on my sister first. Wait, what? I should check on my sister. Everyone, though, let's just take a brief second to say suicide is never the answer. You are not alone. You could always message me, a friend, call or text 988. I just did, and you won't let me do anything.
Why is there a gun? Ah! Really? No! What a sad ending. Like I said, everyone. You're not alone. Like I said, man, this is one of the things I'm bad. There's, there's always options. No matter where you feel. Whatever. I know this is a game, but... Hit me right in the heart, but nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed that. So make sure you stab that like button and murder the subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you next time.